Okay, now what can we do? Well, from here we can factor out the t. So if we factor out the t, we get t is equal, or t open parentheses is equal to, so, so this is all equal to zero. So that, that would be 49, let me use a different code, let me use, let me keep the colors consistent. So 49 sine, sine theta plus, so I'm going to distribute that, so that would be minus 4.9, 4.9. So acceleration downward, that's just gravity, so that's negative 9.8. So 4.99t, so just 4.9t. And what happens when you when you divide each side by t? Well, zero divided by t is just zero, so we're just we're just left with this this equation right here. This formula right here. So this is just gonna be equal to zero. Okay, so okay, so what can we do now? Well, we, when you look at here we can see that there's a t here and there's a t here. So what can we do about that? Well, let's let's solve for t here and see what happens. So, so what what would happen if we solve for t? So we divide f each side by f uh, 49 cosine theta. So it'd be so left side would be 33 divided by 49 cosine theta is equal to t. And this just simplifies into, let's see, let's see what this simplifies into um, on so 33 divided by 49. So I'm just simplifying this, this number because you can. So that's 0 0.67. I'm just going to round that to 0 0.67. So 0 0.67 over cosine of theta is equal to t. Okay, so I'm just going to store this, store this to a. So I don't I don't lose this long, um, correct quote correct decimal. Okay. Okay. So now we can we can substitute this in into here. So what do, what do we get? What do we get when we do that? Well, let's see. Forty nine sine, forty nine sine theta minus four point nine. And we just substitute that in, we get 0 0.67 over cosine theta. Okay. And let's try to simplify this even more. Okay, so four, negative 4.9 times 0 0.67. So that 0 0.67 times negative 4.9 is negative 3.3. .3. So it's exactly negative 3.3. .3. So 40, 49 sine theta. So I'm just moving this down. So minus, minus negative. So minus, so I'm just going to say plus negative 3.3 .3 all over, all over, because you're distributing that in there. So all over cosine, cosine of theta. All right. Now, now let's let's try to simplify this even more. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract. I'm going to subtract negative three point three over cosine theta from each side. So, so what we're what we're, we're going to end up with is I'm going to use it. Okay. So negative three point three. So I subtracted this. So it's going to be subtract negative three point three over cosine is equal to 49 sine theta and and of course theta is our angle here so and if we distribute that negative it's just going to be it's just going to be 3.3 .3, so so just 3.3 cos well okay yeah so it's just going to be 3.3 .3 over cosine Theta. Now we're gonna we're gonna divide 49 from each side, so it's just, it's gonna be 33.3 all over 49 cosine theta is equal to sine theta. 
sine theta. Okay, now if we simplify this, let's see what, what we get. So, so 3.333. Okay, okay, now it works. Okay, 3.3 .3 divided by 4.9 is 0.67. So I'm going to store this. I'm going to store this long decimal. Oh, wait. It's 3.3 .3 divided by 49. Okay, so I'm going to store this long decimal to B. Okay, so that would be 0 0.067. So point, point 0 0.067 over cosine theta is equal to sine theta. Now, if we rearrange this a little bit, we're just going to get, we're just going to be left with 0 0.067 equals sine theta times times cosine theta times cosine theta okay now how in the world do we do we solve for theta well m there's this in in pre-calculus we're, we're going to learn about you're going to learn about trick identities if you don't if you don't know about those yet but what what it what it basically says is is sine let me let me go off to the side a little bit okay so sine 2 theta is equal to 2 times sine of theta times cosine of theta okay now how can how how does this apply to us? Well, let's divide each side by 2. So we get 1 half sine of 2 theta is equal to sine theta times cosine theta. And look, we have our we have our little matching matching thingies. So we can we can just we can just simp uh, we can just substitute this part this part into here so so let, let's do that so point oh six seven seven is equal to one half sine two theta now if we multiply two by each side we're gonna get so that times two to get rid of this one half we get point one three four I'm going to round to 0.135 is equal to sine 2 theta. Now let's get rid of this sine by my multi by taking the arc sine, arc sine of this. And that's denoted by by this by this negative sine right here. So second negative sine, so arc sine of of the answer 0.135 is 7.74 so we get we get 7.74 is equal to 2 theta so we divide that by 2 to get theta so theta is equal to theta is equal to 3.87 3.87 okay you will have a different number from here because your numbers are different I'm gonna bring this up uh, okay, so we have our we have our little theta right here. Okay, we're not done yet because this is uh this is our lower angle. Now, in order to calculate the higher angle, it's the simplest way to do it is to just just subtract this from ninety. So the higher this is this is lower, this is lower. So higher angle. Let me let me use a different color. This color is getting boring. So so higher angle is 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 90 minus 3.87 or whatever you have so it would be it would be 86.13 degrees and this would be degrees as well so in order to to answer our question, 
These are the two projection angles that you would hit a target 30, 33 meters away with the exit velocity of th so so if if this this red red let me draw this red angry bird so it's like uh so angry with the little wings so okay well he's not even on the way on the little uh slingshot but whatever so um so if he if, if he exits at 49 meters per second at like 3.73 or 86.13 degrees it's he he's gonna hit the pig so so i hope that helps you in playing angry birds <laughs>